everybody, Andy's Dinosaur Reviews back again today with another review of another wonderful figure. Today we are going to review the iToy Dilophosaurus. This figure is awesome. I say that with a lot of figures, but that's because I seem to review most of the ones I really like. But straight from the start, as awesome as this figure is, it's got a problem. It's leg bows constantly. I don't know who else has purchased this figure, but as you can see, it's right leg is not supposed to do this. Try to bend it back to where it was. It was right about here. It almost kind of balanced itself out a little bit. Now he just falls on his face all the time. The leg has bowed so badly on mine, and I've only had it for a couple of months, he just does not stand. Now, he did come with a very, very nice base. A beautiful base where he's walking by, I guess what would be a pond or stream or something. And he was supposed to stand. Actually, I might have this. Nah, I forget how he goes on the base. See, one thing about the base is, oh, there's a footprint, is it's not very clear exactly how they want you to put him there. But, Again, even when I put him on the base, right in his face, which is very, very depressing. Let me see if I can prop him up somewhere. Oh boy. Okay, I'm not sure. He may not prop up at all. There, we got him, all right, success. Uh, again, this figure, when I initially got it out of the box, as with most iToy figures, I was blown away. I love their figures. They do such a great job. This is the first time I've ever had any problems with any of their figures. Is just with this thing's leg bowing. I'm not sure why it does it. Even when I got it from the very first moment I took it out of the box, inspected it, fell in love with it. It's beautiful, but it never really stood too well on its base for me. It's not like the, uh, the Raptor where they kind of had like a spot to wedge his feet between some rocks and some stuff that was just on the ground that helped him stand, although his legs are also starting to bow a little bit, the raptors are, but it's nothing terrible, nothing like this one. The uh, Ceratosaurus does not have any of these problems. The Ceratosaurus is just a beast, it just is beautiful. But the Dilophosaurus didn't really stand too well on the base to begin with. I'm thinking maybe something I toy could benefit from in the future would be little pegs in the feet or maybe just putting a little spot in the base where it puts like a footprint that they could maybe put the dinosaur's foot into. I have considered gluing this to the base just because I don't really care about taking him off the base. I think he would just be great to stay on the base at all times. But with the, uh, the foot bowing the way it is, I don't know what'll happen if I do glue it to the base. I'm not sure. I probably am just gonna have to do it anyway because it's just, like I said, the leg is bowing so badly he doesn't want to stay up there anymore. And it's very unfortunate because it's beautiful. But uh, let's take him off again, even though I just got him standing there. Take a look at the actual figure. It's not very, very large, but he's not super small. Uh, so it's a nice sized figure. I think the paint job on this was done so, so well. It looks really, really good, especially if you get up nice and close and really taking the detail. It looks amazing. The eye, as with all eye toy figures, convenient as eye toy, and the eyes are the probably my favorite part of these figures. But the eye is just insane. They, they, I don't know how they make the eyes exactly. I'm not sure if they just put a little decal on over it, but they really, really go the extra mile with the eyes. Unlike most companies where they'll just color it in, put a little dot. There's your eye they actually put detail into the eye. The, uh, the crest is also painted really, really well. And th again, this isn't, I'm not gonna take away from the actual sculpt. The detail in this is phenomenal as well. It has great detail, so it's not all about the paint job. I think the paint job is beautiful, but the detail is also there as well, just like with most figures like Papo and all that. I think this has definitely Papo quality detailing. It has the articulated jaw, which is a cool, fun thing they do with most predators nowadays. The mouth has uh, a very nice gloss to it, which makes it look really real, along with the eyes, has beautiful gloss. The mouth looks very, very real to me. 
beautiful teeth. I think the, the teeth are details. They were sculpted and uh, colored very well. They look very realistic to me. The sculpt clearly is Jurassic Park inspired, which you could tell also was an issue with their, well not really an issue, it's not a bad thing, but was also something that you could associate with their raptor it was obviously also Jurassic Park inspired. But not a bad thing because Jurassic Park is great. Uh, as you go and look at this side again, coloring on the, the crest is just beautiful. You can see a few different shades of color there. It's like a little bit of a reddish color it looks like. Then some green, some light tannish color. It all looks beautiful. Everything on this looks great. As you go down the back of the neck, you can see some nice green stripes. Brown belly, or uh, brown body goes down to the arms which also look awesome very well sculpted so nice the scales that they put all over this beautiful beautiful detail all over some nice little skin folds right here going into the leg beautiful muscle tone in the legs feet are also sculpted really 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 well goes to the nice little curved tail and that's your Dilophosaurus. It looks awesome. It would probably be one of my favorite figures. It still kind of is, but it, oh, every time I try to let him stand, just doesn't want to do it. Must be drunk. But uh, it would it would probably be one of my top figures if it did not have this leg issue where the leg bows, because it just drives me nuts. The base, like I said, is really, really nice. They did a great job with this base. It's probably my favorite base out of all of the bases that they've released so far. As you can see, there's some nice little foliage, a broken down tree, another little broken down tree over here, some rocks and stuff, and then the water, which I think the water looks great. Obviously, it, uh, the scene, I guess, would be that the Dilophosaurus here happened to be walking by, maybe something made a noise or a splash here in the water, caught his attention, he looked back, he's looking down at the water, you can see the ripples in the water from whatever caused that little splash, I guess you can leave that up to your imagination, you can see there's different shades to the different depths of the water coming off of the bank here. One weird thing that happened with mine, I don't know if everybody's has it, which I don't think they do, but there's something inside my water right here, there's a little white spot almost looks like there's like a piece of paper or plastic that was like a shaving of something else that came off and just kind of got wedged in there when they were making it I thought it was something that was just on the top and you could scrape it off but it's not it's actually inside in the water so I mean that's a little depressing that that would somehow get sent out either way but I did not feel like purchasing the figure all over again just over that it wasn't that big of a deal to me although I would have preferred that not been there uh, the Dilophosaurus is awesome though. Let me get a, it might be a little tough to actually to get a size on this. If I can get him to stand up. There we go. As far as size goes, we are looking at, whoa, we're never gonna find out. Uh, it's upside down, but about seven and a half inches. Alone, the figure will be about Three and a half inches tall, somewhere in that range. On the base, he would be about four inches tall, and the highest part of the base is a little under two inches. The width of the base is a little over three inches. So, beautiful figure, aside from the leg issues. Like I said, it looks phenomenal. Oh, look at that. Wow, he just happened to stay on there. That was some good luck right there but uh aside from the standing issue with the leg bowing and that little random thing there in my water i think this figure and this whole diorama is absolutely beautiful everything about it screams quality to me and i uh, even though the leg bowing thing hopefully isn't a problem with everybody's i still cannot recommend this figure enough to anybody that wants to purchase it actually one thing i didn't mention before that was pretty cool on the underside here, it's got a reddish on its feet here. A little bit of a reddish underside under the 
pelvic area here and a little red underside to the throat which was very cool too also on the arms so it's got a cool earthy looking color under there very very neat now I took them up oh my god look how lucky I'm getting lately I don't know what's going on here that all of a sudden luck is hitting me but he's standing on his own so yeah beautiful figure again I will link you guys in the description as to where you can buy this as with most of my figures uh, I Again, I think you'll have to buy them off of eBay, although you might be able to contact Acroman at Acroman's China Source Store. He may be able to get a hold of this for you because it does come from China, and he could probably get it at a little bit of a cheaper price. I don't think it was too much really to begin with, around the $35, $40 range, maybe $45, $43, somewhere in that area. So it's not super expensive, but it's not really that cheap. It's not, uh, I mean, it's a little expensive for the size but you also get a very cool base, so you can't really argue with it. Beautiful figure. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'll link you guys as to where you can buy one, and please like, please comment, because I, like I said before, I do enjoy hearing from you guys. I like to converse back and forth, and anybody that is interested in dinosaur models, please subscribe to the channel, because I will have plenty of dinosaur reviews in the future. And thank you guys for watching.